All right, so that's had a few days to dry. I'm going to mount it and do the finished turning on it. Um, when I look at this profile, I really don't like this hollow right here. I would prefer it come in and I may I may bring that bottom up almost an inch to improve the curve into the bottom. We'll have to see once I get it get turning on it. And that looks like it's turning pretty true. So I think I really should establish my outside shape before I do much more on the inside there. Start out with a 5 8 ball gouge. And I'm going to take quite a bit of material out in here, I think. Uh, to try and I'll reduce the diameter here and maybe move the bottom up some to let me come up more. Perhaps I should slow the lid down. Since I was doing video blast at 2500 RPM, and I don't think I want this. He's spinning at 2500 RPM. There,
Okay, that's not a bad shape, I don't think. It's not a great surface at the moment, I don't think. Tear out is not horrible, but it's there on the two sides. Plus this curve, this reverse curve here has got uh, a lot of ridges. So I'm going to try and clean that up. That's fine for now. I'll be turning that back around to turn the t to finish shaping the bottom, and uh, I'll sand the. Out I'll probably do a couple passes to clean up the outside and uh, sand it then. I'm going to do the rim now. Otherwise, it's going to. Once I get the walls any thinner than they are already, um, I'll have too much vibration if I try cutting on the rim after that, so I'll do it now. And I'll go to the uh, 3 8 traditional grind gouge for that. Pretty clean cut on the rim there. Uh, 
That's a real good tear outreach here for some reason. The rest of it's not bad at all. It's a bit of tear out, but not much. Alright, I'm going to go to traditional grind. See if I can clean that up. because it's curved, just that it's got more reach. so deep I'm having trouble keeping bevel contact down there so I'm going to try leveling that surface with a scraper here okay so the scraper Using the scraper, it's not a tool where you want the bevel contact, like on a, like on a gouge. You want the handle to be higher. You want it to be nose down into the into the bowl. You want to be cutting at or slightly above center, so that if you have a catch, it'll swing down out of the wood. If you're below center. Uh, and it goes down you're into the wood coming across here so you're going deeper into the wood and if your nose up with the tool and you have a catch you're going deeper into the wood which is exactly what you don't want so nose down cutting out or slightly above center to sweep across there
try and take off the high points. And I wasn't particularly successful of taking off the high points from a few of that. If you start coming up the side, you're probably going to get all kinds of tear out. Um, I have enough tear out right there, actually, that I don't like. I'm going to try a shearing pass by rolling the scraper up on its side so that it's above 40. The blade is like 45 degrees or so. It's just a shearing angle. tear out there but I think I actually introduced a little more I came up further on the side and introduced a bit there but uh, I still have a high area right here on the curve um, now the edge doesn't last very long on a scraper I'm going to switch to a different scraper, hopefully with a little fresher edge on it. turn the lights off it won't look too bad. Uh, there is some small tear out there and not a little bit there but not nearly as much so um, I have a gouge that I've ground to a steeper angle but I just don't I don't think it's even even it's enough to get me across there with a bubble rubbing. coming across the uh, I lost bevel contact in here uh, so I didn't continue the cut all the way to center and I've got a bit of a ridge there but I think I will let sand paper take care of that I'm going to sand the inside now <laughs> 